This is Big Al's, located in Beaverton, Oregon. It's a family fun center that has bowling, an arcade, a restaurant, and private rooms to book birthday parties and get-togethers. We started out with bowling. It has two different rooms for bowling. The first room is a standard room, and the second room is called Slider Alley. It's for a VIP experience. You pay $1 extra to go in, and it's like cosmic bowling. Uh, it has, you know, lights and disco lights, big screen TVs, uh, black lights. And this was during the daytime. Um, usually, uh, cosmic bowling is just offered at night times, uh, from my experience. So this is like all day type of thing, and it wasn't that busy when we went here. Uh, it was $5 per person for shoes, and it was $7 per person per game. So we paid $20 for shoes, $28 for a game. It was $48 total, because we can only make it through one game. Uh my kids are not huge on bowling but we just wanted to we couldn't pass this up because it looked like a pretty good experience uh so here's some bowling in action here and the really cool thing is that when you program the names in the computers you can uh oh that's nice <laughs> you could pick uh who wants to do bumpers if you have someone in your party that does bumpers uh just one person wanted to do it so when it's the person's turn for bumpers, uh, they come up just like this. Um, so it's their turn with bumpers. And as soon as it's after their turn, if they're the only person, the bumpers, they go back down and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool because my experience is you have to play either the whole thing with bumpers or uh, the person has to play without. So, um, and this is the other uh, bowling alley. It's uh, right when you walk in and you check in, you can see the end edge of the counter there. Um, as you check in, you can see the bowling alley. So upstairs is the arcade. Uh, I won't spend too much time talking about the arcade because I did make a separate video uh, just about the arcade here. Um, I go in depth on uh, prices and um, the way they divvy out the credits, uh, prizes, and the redemption room. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for my YouTube video on the arcade. Uh, we spent $30 per person for four people, so it ended up being about $120, uh, which lasted us about 45 minutes. Uh, wasn't too bad. The uh, games give out pretty good uh, amount of tickets. So we went downstairs to the restaurant, which uh, it was a pretty good size restaurant for a place like this. Um, I wasn't really expecting a whole big restaurant, but it was like a sports bar uh, with sports memorabilia and uh, big screen TVs with sports on it. Um, and the, the menu was pretty good, too. Uh, it had a lot of variety, uh, just typical things you would see at a restaurant like this. Uh, burgers, fries, seafood, uh, chicken strips, um, that type of thing. And so um, the average price was uh, $12.99 to $19.99 for, a, um, for an entree, uh, which one of my kids got a hamburger for $12.99 and the other kid got a seafood for $19.99. And then my wife and I split this huge cookie sheet of nachos and I left a fork there so you could see the size and the scale of this thing. We thought that both of us could finish this, but uh, we could only finish half of it. So I recommend if you have four people and everybody likes nachos, you should get this to save money. It only costs $29.99. So for four people, that's not that much. So uh, when it all comes down to it, uh, it was a pretty fun time. It's just that when you have more people, it just costs more and that's everywhere you go. So if you had two people, you could probably have a pretty good time. Um, so here's a breakdown in price for four people. So bowling was $48 for one game. The arcade was $120, 30 bucks per person. The food was around $85, and that's including tip. And the total was about $250. $250 for four people for a day, probably, probably typical for one of these places. 
So if you oh, like my no. video and you want to see more, uh, please leave a comment. Um, preferably in Oregon, but I will travel. So um, please like and subscribe. And I'm trying to build my channel up for um, arcades and amusement parks. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye.